and I am going to talk about the remaining uh, part of the respiratory system. Actually, we have studied the structure and function of different parts of the respiratory system, and this is the final thing we need to know about the respiratory system. Air travels through the nose and then from the larynx it enters into the trachea. Trachea is the biggest vessel uh, in the air passageway and the wall of the trachea it contains c-shaped cartilaginous structure and that helps trachea to stay open so it does not collapse in the event and especially if a pressure is placed on the body. That trachea then divide and divide and divide further to produce very small air passageways. Of course, the C-shaped cartilaginous structures will be replaced by simple cartilage and then eventually it is no longer present in the smaller air passageways. At the very last end of these air passageways, the situation is something like this, the present in the circle. This is an, uh, 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 an air passageway here, you can see. And I told you that there exist these grape-like structures over there. So that means the oxygen from the air is eventually and should be present here as well. The carbon dioxide gas which is produced by the blood is actually present here. So these grape-like structure are called as alveoli. They are called as alveoli or air sacs. The trachea when divides to produce smaller air passage base, they are called as bronchus, then bronchioles. And then eventually they become so small and ended up in these grape-like structures. If we further study the grape-like structures, remember every organ receives a supply of blood. That thing and that vessel is called as artery. Artery is a blood vessel which supplies blood to the organ. The artery then divide and divide and then divide eventually produces very small, very, very small sort of vessels which are called as capillaries or blood capillaries. So every artery in an organ divides divides to produce very, very small blood vessels called capillaries. And capillaries are the places, are the blood vessels which are responsible in exchange of things between the blood and the cells. So the artery is no longer able to exchange things between the cells. The cells are there. Arteries will never be able to exchange, but the blood capillaries are because they are very small and they're almost equal to the size of the cells. Then these blood capillaries rejoin together again, rejoin, reconnect, rejoin, reconnect, and then eventually create a vein. So a vein is something which takes the blood away from the organ. Okay. So there should be an artery and this is the artery which brings the blood from the heart and that artery then div uh, divides and then divides and eventually produce a very small vessels called blood capillaries. These blood capillaries are present around the alveoli. So now look at this molecular orientation of all these structures. So there are alveoli and within those alveoli there exist, there is oxygen is present from the air passageway. So the air passageway brings oxygen and on the alveoli there is blood capillaries and those blood capillaries are the smallest vessel containing blood. So what that means, this is the place where oxygen will get dissolved into the blood. And I can tell you, there is a protein called hemoglobin 
which is present within the blood, which is responsible in capturing that oxygen. It captures the oxygen and then it will become oxyhemoglobin. It's called oxyhemoglobin. So all the blood which touches the alveoli, it comes out with lots of oxygen. So the blood which is coming from here, from the artery, is called as deoxygenated blood. It is the blood with less oxygen. But when it passes through the alveoli, the hemoglobin absorbs and captures oxygen. And then this blood in this vein, now you should be able to, to distinguish between blood and the uh, artery and the vein. Now this vein carries the blood with excessive amount of oxygen. And then that oxygen will then take to the heart and from the heart it is distributed to the rest of the body. So that is how the exchange of oxygen occurs. But at the same time, this is also the place we know that the carbon dioxide gas saturation, the carbon dioxide gas concentration is higher in the blood because it is produced within the cells. Think about the context of the cell. If this is the cell, and here is the blood vessel outside the cell. Due to the metabolism, oxygen is consumed within the cells and carbon dioxide gas is produced. I'm sure you should remember the very famous equation. The glucose is burned down. The process is called as respiration and that produces carbon dioxide gas, water and energy. So oxygen is consumed, carbon dioxide gas is produced in the blood. So the, the, the concentration of carbon dioxide gas is higher within the blood capillaries. That carbon dioxide gas is then exported into the alveoli. And then from the alveoli, it is collected into the air passageway. And from the air passageway to the bronchioles, from the bronchioles, towards the bronchus, from the bronchus towards the trachea, from the trachea towards the nose, and then to the outside of the body. So when we inhale gases, because of the difference in the partial pressure of oxygen, that's important, because oxygen is consumed within the lungs, it is absorbed by the blood, so the partial pressure of oxygen in the lungs is less as compared to the partial pressure of oxygen in the air. So that is why air rushed into the lungs. At the same time, carbon dioxide gas is produced within the lungs. That is why the partial pressure of carbon dioxide gas within the lungs is higher as compared to the partial pressure of carbon dioxide gas in the air. That is why carbon dioxide gas will rush outside the lungs. Okay? So, I think that if you ask the question that the veins they are known, unki pehchan hai, they are known to have deoxygenated blood. So, you are telling that this veins is oxygen hai, ye oxygen wala blood. Hai. That is entirely opposite to the concept of uh, the vessels. If this is the this is the only place in the human body where the principle is opposite. The arteries, they are supposed to carry oxygenated blood and veins, they are supposed to carry deoxygenated blood other than these two. These are exception. This artery is an exception. This is an artery, but it is carrying deoxygenated blood. This is, uh, it comes from the heart. It comes from the heart. This is a vein. But in the lungs, this vein contains oxygenated blood and it takes that blood to the heart and from the heart, it goes to the rest of the body. This is an exception because of the function. 
actually i have shared this stuff with you that the open places of the alveoli within the alveoli in the open chambers the oxygen and carbon dioxide gas is here like the oxygen and carbon dioxide gas present in the air remember there is nothing in between the air and the deep sections present within the lungs called alveoli alveoli or air ke darmiyan mein kuch nahi hota there should there should be nothing between these two nothing should obstruct this path so whatever is present in the air it should be present here now what happens is that blood picked oxygen from here so the partial pressure of oxygen is reduced within the alveoli so the oxygen rush in similarly carbon dioxide gas is produced it blood brings the carbon dioxide gas from all parts of the body and it releases here the partial pressure of carbon dioxide gas is higher here that is why when we exhale the gases most of those gases are like carbon dioxide gas and that is the the story of respiration now what happens in case of coronavirus in case of the disease called covid that is because of the virus called sars cov2 this virus belongs to a family of virus which contains lots of member most of them are flu viruses so do not get scared that it is a flu virus it is one of the modified version of the flu virus earlier we know about the sars cov1 very famous sars virus and also the mers virus they they are called corona virus because their outer structure contains spike proteins and they look like crown they look like a crown so that is why they are called as corona virus every virus is supposed to be dangerous but some viruses are more deadlier than the other one the factor which defines whether the virus will be deadly or not is based on certain important factors the first factor is the is the uh, i must say is the extent of their infectious capacity how well they can propagate the infection how well they can spread as a virus their potential to infect people imagine hepatitis c virus hepatitis c virus or hcv it is supposed to infect the cells present in the liver if this is the liver now there is no way an hepatitis c virus present outside will be able to reach the lungs there is no way other than the virus will have to go through the virus will have to go through the blood even if enters from the nose from the mouth or from anywhere that virus will have to go through the blood system and after that it will be ended up into the lungs because the virus structure is favorable to live and to attack the liver cells they can live comfortably on the liver cells that's why they damage the livers but your body will be able to get enough time to deal with the virus because the virus will going to travel into the blood stream and the blood stream contains all the immune cells and for the our immune system it is easier to detect the virus and it is easier to respond to the virus and also it's not that easy it's not a direct target the blood transfusion or reaching to the blood is not that easy task. that is why in the precautionary measures people say that the biggest reason of the of the hepatitis c virus transmissions are from the blood transfusions 
used syringes, something like that. There is no other way. Physical contact, say, hepatitis C virus will never be able to, you know, transmit. So the level of infection is, and the capacity to infect people is not that much in case of hepatitis C virus. That's the first thing. The second is, of course, how well it can destroy and damage the organ. SCV can damage the organ, no doubt about it. But the immediate impact on the life is not there. It will take a lot of time to consume the liver cells because if the liver survives, like 50 to 60% liver is there working, the body will be able to deal with the trouble and to execute the normal functions of life. Now think about the coronavirus. Coronavirus actually present in the air. That's the first, first bad thing. It can survive in the droplets of cough and sneezing and somehow survive in the air and on the surface of the other material and that is very unique. I can tell you it's very dangerous. Hepatitis C is not able to survive in the air. Hepatitis C virus will not be able to survive outside the blood. But that virus will be able to survive like on the surface of the laptop and computer and, and doors, handles and all those things. So if the coronavirus is able to enter into the nose or ears or eyes from somewhere, it enters into our respiratory system. The walls of our respiratory system are made up of certain cells. And those cells are the target of the coronavirus. Coronavirus can target the cells which are creating our air passageway. So now think, the virus is there, outside in the air, it can survive over there. The virus can survive on the surface. So the probability of having the virus out there is very high. And next, the, 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 the target of the virus, or in order to reach to the target cells, the virus will not have to go through the blood cells. It is like, if something is present in the air, that means that air will be everywhere in the lungs. So the virus can drop in the throat, in the trachea, in the bronchus, or in the bronchiole, anywhere. Now, once the virus finds its target, and you should understand also that the target of the virus depends on the nature of the virus. Why coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2 is very bad? Because the spike protein, this one, finds a match on another protein present on the human cell. So unfortunately, the spike protein of that virus finds a match with another receptor called ACE2. You don't, you don't need to remember the name of that receptor. There is a perfect talking of the spike protein of that coronavirus with this human cell. And that cells constitute the air passageway. Now you should know the coronavirus will going to affect the air passageway, the cells present in the air passageway. They will enter into the cell. After that, I can tell you the virus will going to hijack the nucleus. It will push the cells to produce more viruses and after that, the cell will be dead or destroyed or burst and produce many new, many new coronaviruses, which will then attack the fresh layer of cells and the story continues. But that does not mean our body is defenseless at that time. Our body is trying to fight with the, with the problem. Our immune cells, the very famous beta cells and our T cells, they try to curb and they try to fight. They rush towards the site of infection within the lungs and they try to kill the infected cells in order to reduce the number of viruses. That battle, that fight results in the creation of a lot of debris here, 
लॉट ऑफ डिब्री हियर डेड बॉडीज होती है ना सेल्स दे क्रिएट लॉट ऑफ डिब्री एंड इमेजिन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इन द एयर पैसेज वे वट विल हैपन Because of that debris in the air passageway, there is an obstruction in the air passageway. Our lungs will not be able to receive maximum amount of air. It is like, for example, if we are, our lungs are receiving hundred percent oxygen before. Now they are receiving like ninety eight percent oxygen from the air. Their oxygen saturation level goes down. If the infection bins. and it spreads in the lungs the ability and the efficiency of our lungs goes down so earlier before infection it is 100% then 98% then 90% and then the person needs a hospital after that the person needs like a uh, a uh, uh, concentrated version of oxygen goes down 80% the person might be in trouble critical needs extensive care or ventilator after that and the person might be dead the the other side of the story which is both troubling is that whenever we get infected or we get sick we, our immune system fight with that trouble and our immune system needs energy to deal with the trouble to produce more cells to produce more soldiers so they can go and fight and kill the viruses now producing energy is the job of the respiration respiratory system so if the efficiency of the respiratory system is decreasing that means our immune system will not be able to fight efficiently at the same time so if you don't have a good immune system what that mean it will be difficult for you to deal with the with the disease with every passing day so the doctors then supply a concentrated version of oxygen so that your lungs do not need to work that hard they can get more oxygen more energy more immune system working more immune system efficiency and eventually they will kill the cells our immune system most of the time can kill the cells comfortably can kill the virus comfortably but sometimes if we are like failing we need some assistance and that assistance is oxygen that is good enough it give us enough time produces lot of energy and that energy we will be using to kill the viruses but if we are not supporting our immune system at that time the table might turn and that happens in many cases the people you might know and you heard the stories of the people who are dying like they are fine today but they are dead tomorrow because of corona virus all those people were having a same sort of situation that they are like living in a balance and then they lose the battle because the job of the lungs is to produce energy for all the functions of life and if the person is having some more problems like in 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 the in the cardiovascular system is a heart patient or diabetes so in that case the chance of uh, losing the battle is much higher so the best solution for a disease like corona virus is to have a efficient immune system how you can have an efficient immune system you should see my video for that which i हाउ डू यू नो ऑक्सीजन लेवल इज गोइंग डाउन इस आजकल तो बड़ा आसान है आजकल तो इसकी डिवाइस होती है वो फिंगर पे लगाते हैं आपने कभी मूवी फिल्मों में देखा होगा ऐसी उंगली को ऊपर एक डिवाइस लगी होती है उस वो डिवाइस का जॉब है कि वो ऑक्सीजन सेचुरेशन जो है वो मेजर करता है ऑक्सीमीटर वो मिल जाता है दो तीन हजार रुपए का ना करे किसी को जरूरत पड़े सर अब तो आपकी स्मार्ट डिवाइस में भी आ गया आपकी वॉच एपल वॉच आप उसमें ये कर सकती है ऑक्सीजन लेवल हाँ मे बी मे बी मे बी आगे बिल्कुल आगे आगे क्योंकि वो दो तीन हजार रुपए की डिवाइस है अठारह सौ का है लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ द डिसऑर्डर्स रिलेटेड टू द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम द एस्थमा एंड एंड एम्फीमा एंड सार्स एक्चुअली वी हैव गॉन थ्रू द सार्स कोर टू स्पेशली द कोरोना वायरस एंड 
Uh, I mean, that's it for the respiratory system from our side. G. Now it's time for you for you to ask your questions. Let me see. Kiske pass sawal hai. G. Barida. Sir, I have two questions. One is this. Two questions. सर हम मेरे पास टू क्वेश्चंस है पहला ये कि हमने लास्ट टाइम मैंने आपसे अस्थमा के बारे में एक बात पूछी थी तो आपने कहा था ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन जब आती है ना तो उस वजह से मसला होता है तो सर अभी जिस तरह आपने कहा था कि ना एवलाई और एयर के درمیان कोई ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन नहीं होनी चाहिए तो आप उसी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन की बात कर रहे थे कि वहां पे जब ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन आती है तो तब अस्थमा का मसला होता है एक तो ये सवाल है सर नो 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 मुझे अस्थमा मुझे भूल गया था मुझे इसको स्पेशली बता देना चाहिए आपको ठीक है ओके लुक जस्ट जस्ट कीप इट स्टे विद मी तो एक मिनट में दो मिनट में समझ आ जाएगा ये एस्थमा का इशू क्या होता है आमतौर पर व्हेन एवर अ स्मॉल पार्टिकल अ स्मॉल अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल पार्टिकल एंटर्स इनटू आवर रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम नॉट ऑक्सीजन अ स्मॉल पार्टिकल एंटर्स इनटू आवर रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इसी वजह से किसी ऑक्सीजन के साथ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस के साथ एयर से कोई डस्ट पार्टिकल है इट माइट बी अ डस्ट पार्टिकल इट माइट बी अ पोलन it might be anything which is very small it is not a very bad thing it is not supposed to be a germ it is not supposed to be a bad thing so most of us 99.9% people when they receive this small very very small little type of dust particle their immune system their soldiers which are waiting to fight with the bad things you know our soldiers which are waiting to fight fight for the bad they are all placed actually strategically placed in different organs including the lungs so they are waiting to fight with any bad thing so if there is a bacteria over there they will just jump in detect the bacteria and start killing it now if i ask you this small little stuff here this thing this thing is not a bad stuff it's not something we should worry if it enters into our respiratory system most of us and their immune system will not give a damn to this thing okay okay because it is not very significant stuff to worry about but the unfortunate poor asthma people they have the problem and sense over sensitivity in their immune system that their immune system sense and react to this insignificant stuff so immune system is not supposed to fight against that thing but the asthma people and their immune cells react to that insignificant stuff over there so sab logo ne matti khai hai hawa se lekin asthma ke patient ne bhi matti khai hai dirt khai hai maslan uh, सब लोग गाड़ी आप गाड़ी झाड़ रहे हैं किसी कपड़े से सारे ठीक हैं लेकिन वो एक इंडिविजुअल जो है उसको ट्रबल हो सकती है बड़ी सीरियस किस्म की क्योंकि द सेम डस्ट पार्टिकल व्हेन एंटर्स इनटू द रेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल देयर देयर बॉडी डज नॉट रिएक्ट देयर इम्यून सिस्टम डज नॉट रिएक्ट बट फॉर द एस्थमा पीपल दैट देयर इम्यून सिस्टम इज इज लाइक ओवर सेंसिटिव टू दैट स्टफ एंड दे स्टार्टेड रिएक्टिंग एंड व्हाट व्हाट इज द रिएक्शन आई मीन दे स्टार्ट पुशिंग and coughing and try to to reach to that place to fight with that stuff so fighting with that stuff is not required and that is why it is a disease hope this explains the scenario yes sir aur sir ek aur question tha ki aapne jis tarah spike protein ki abhi baat ki thi ki jab corona virus attach hota hai aur fir wo aage air passage way mein ja kar affect karta hai to sir kuch logon ki jaise lungs bahut jaldi fail hona shuru kar deti hai to aapne jo immunity ka bataya hai to jo wo isi wajah se jaldi kuch logon ki hoti hai aur kuch ki nahi hoti kyunki kuch logon ka immune system usko bahut jaldi lungs tak pahuncha deta hai aur kuch fight zyada bilkul 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 immune system nahi pahunchata jab ye sab logon mein jaati hai to तो आवर इम्यून सिस्टम इज सपोज टू फाइट विद दैट थिंग अब हम लोग अलग अलग हैं इम्यून सिस्टम का ताल्लुक माचू होने से नहीं है माचू है या फिर मेरे बहुत अच्छे बाइसेप्ट इम्यून सिस्टम का ताल्लुक इससे नहीं है ये एक प्रोबेबिलिटी की गेम है यानी कि इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ इम्यून सिस्टम क्या करता है जैसे डाइस होता है ना डाइस दे ट्राई टू क्रिएट सर्टन सोल्जर्स बेस्ड ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी टू फाइट अगेंस्ट द कोरोना वायरस 
समाइम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट वर्क हम लड़ते आ रहे हैं बेशुमार बीमारियों से और अक्सर हम जीत जाते हैं यानी कि हम हम ज्यादा हेल्थी रहते हैं ना और कम बीमार होते हैं which which means that most of the time we win the war our probability works but in this case the the the, the time factor is very critical because the target cells are there wo bilkul bahir hai target cells agar aap harenge to aap kis cheez ko lose karenge aap efficiency of lungs ko lose karenge jaise domino effect hota hai na it is like a domino effect after that so most of us jo jaise khan sahab ne shuru mein kaha tha na ki aapne pareshan nahi hona isse it's a ye arm flu virus hai तो वो फ्लू वायरस वो इस सेंस में कह रहे थे वो गलत नहीं कह रहे थे मैं उनको एक्सपर्ट्स बताते हैं कि हम में से अक्सर लोगों के पास जब ये जाएगा दे विल बी एबल टू फाइंड द आंसर 98 परसेंट लोग उसको खुद ही फिक्स कर लेंगे लेकिन उन दो परसेंट लोगों का क्या वो विल नॉट बी एबल टू अच्छा आप दो परसेंट बहुत मामूली से मिकदार होती है लेकिन आबादी के कॉन्टेक्स में और एक लिथल वायरस के कॉन्टेक्स में इट्स अ वेरी बिग नंबर 